Hey guys, I'm Sarah, welcome back to the Peacock HD Games channel. The first person shooting game is a game genre that can be said to be quite liked by gamers on mobile, PC, and other platforms. Currently, first person shooting games are equipped with fun game elements, such as simulation genres, obstacle genres, adventure genres, and other game genres that you can find in first person shooting games. For this reason, in this video, Peacock HD will discuss the first person shooting game for PC devices, which has a large collection of good genres that you can play later. But before entering the topic of video discussion, don't forget to press the like, subscribe, and notification buttons so you don't miss the latest video information from us. Without further ado, let's get started, the list of 6 first person shooting games for PC, the best of 2021, HD version of Peacock, and happy watching until the end. At the start of number 1, we have a game, Black Mesa. Black Mesa is a remake of Half-Life 1, created entirely by fans using the latest Source engine. It took 15 years before Black Mesa reached its 1.0 release, but it finally happened in 2020, and it was well worth the wait. T. He Remake is a remake and version of the classic single-player campaign, eliminating any dated puzzles and combat sequences to create a succinct experience. The developers even created their own expanded version of the alien planet, Zen, the final section of Half-Life 1 that was reportedly cut short by Valve. Although there's no denying Half-Life 1 is a spectacular game, and putting aside what it did for PC gaming, its gameplay isn't perfect, but the tweaks in Black Mesa iron out those issues. If you haven't experienced the first Half-Life game, and you want to see what you've missed out on, Black Mesa is the best way to relieve this classic FPS. Moving on to number 2, we have a game, Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal takes the gameplay loop of the 2016 smash hit, and ramps everything up to 11. The developers could have easily pumped out a sequel that played largely the same as Doom 2016, but they chose to take each core mechanic to another level. Every aspect has been improved, from the amount of weapons you have at your disposal, to the movement options that increase the pace of the game. At number 3, we have a game, Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War. Hot on the heels of the Call of Duty, Modern Warfare reboot and Warzone, Black Ops Cold War needed to excel in order to maintain the high bar set by Infinity Ward. Fortunately, Cold War lives up to expectations and the result is a game that feels snappy and fast-paced, two big requisites when it comes to creating a popular Call of Duty game. Cold War leans into the silliness of its alternate history setting, allowing the devs to throw operators like Rambo and John McClane into the mix. The campaign even features multiple endings, including one that sees Russia win the Cold War. The highlight of the game has to be the multiplayer mode, which is regularly updated with new content every two months. At number 4, we have the game, Overwatch. Compare it to Team Fortress 2 or to League of Legends if you like, Overwatch has enough in common with both to share some of their appeal, but different enough that it will take months for players to figure out its best character combinations. Overwatch is about teamwork, little is made of who killed you or how many headshots you amassed. More important is how you manage to revive a vital sniper on the capture point as Mercy, or push the payload forwards with Reinhardt's shield, or otherwise manage to win a round using your eclectic mix bag of abilities. Moving on to number 5, we have a game, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive. Throwing yourself into the world of Counter-Strike, Global Offensive for the first time, is like diving into a modern warfare meat grinder. 
You will face players who have been prowling versions of these maps for more than a decade. You will die to snipers with tens of thousands of kills notched into their scout. You will be punished by players who could recite CS, go console commands in their sleep, sitting out the rest of the round while you rue your mistake. Why, then, would you choose to play Counter-Strike, Global Offensive? Because working your way up to the top of the leaderboards is an achievement, a reward earned through patience, skill, and muscle memory. And it has some of the best level design in games. There's a reason why, even today, you will find servers running ancient maps like Dust2 day in, day out, in part, because regular CS, Go updates forever keep this shooter fresh. And in the last number, Thursday have a game, Rainbow Six Siege. Thanks to continued support from Ubisoft, Rainbow Six Siege is almost completely unrecognizable from the so-so shooter that emerged with a whimper rather than a bang in 2015. Now, with its burgeoning esports scene, a constant flow of Rainbow Six Siege operators, and some of the best multiplayer gameplay around, it has become one of the best shooting games on PC. Every moment of Siege's boxed-in battles is fraught with tension and danger, from the moment you start scouting an area with your drone, to that final attempt to save the day by shooting down walls and smashing through the ceiling. Its asymmetrical multiplayer and tactical openness mean no round plays out the same way. That's the list of six first-person shooting games for PC, the best in 2021 that you have watched until the end. Thank you very much for watching our video, hopefully, our game recommendations can be useful for all of you, and see you in the next summary video of the best games list. If you have any suggestions or want to recommend another good game, you can post a question in the comments. We all say, simple game, simple enjoy, see you in the next video.